so glad you decided to join us today. And I know you've got a busy schedule. First off, what brings you to Texas? Okay, a little hard to talk to. So, tell me, how did you feel once you finally got out there? Oh, man. <laughs> what an interview. Okay, well, maybe these questions are just a little bit too vague. Do you think? Okay, great. Would you say that you are more of a dessert apple or of a snack apple? I mean, it's like working with divas around here. Hi, I'm Carlos Sino. Oh, let me put that up. Hi, I'm Carlos Sino with Chef's Produce. And we've got a new item that just hit our market. Honey's Apple, brought to you by G-Wiz, a very trusted Apple partner of ours. So Honey's, it's a new Apple. What is it? Let's talk about it. If you look at their website, they'll tell you, it took over 4,000 trial plantings to come up with this flavor apple. Just like the name would clue you into, it's gotta be some sort of cross of a honey crisp. But what else makes it special? Descriptors from the website say it's sweet yet tangy with a big crunch, big crunch, big crunch. No, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> These became available in September. Availability wasn't quite there yet of the food service market, but we just got these in this week. These are an 88 count. First, we can actually talk about G-Wiz and what they've actually meant to the Apple market out of Washington. Grady Avil, I think I'm saying his name right. Grady Avil, Avil? He's the founder of the Avil Fruit Company. And Grady has actually been recognized for introducing the Granny Smith to the Apple market. The M26 rootstock, also quality production of the Fuji Apple. With all that background, why even bring up Honey's Apples? Because when we bring something new in, we want you to know about it. Here's the sticker, can you see it? There we go. So it's gonna have that type of sticker to it. You see it's got the little litten soles all around it. It's got a nice shade of between the red and yellow. Now let's cut into it. All right, so when you cut right into it, it looks like an apple. <laughs> so what does it taste like? No, they're good. Yes, I would say definitely a dessert apple. It is a little bit sweeter. It's got a little bit of a tang to it. <laughs> I still got like skin in my teeth. I gotta do this one, I'm not picking. Let's try this again, take two. And since we're here, here's a couple tricks that I can give to you when choosing an apple. First, you need to select an apple. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I selected you. Oh, I'd like to eat you. And second, give it a toss in the air just a little bit. Yep, just like that. Do it one more time. I knew you could do it. Did it sound hollow? Let's listen closely. Oh yeah, that's hollow, all right. You wanna avoid dull looking fruit or fruit that just feels very dense. That's a sign of age. And no one likes an old apple, ain't that right? Keep your apples refrigerated. Ideally between two to three weeks, sometimes longer. But my grandmother said I can keep apples in the refrigerator as long as, okay, okay, I'm not gonna argue with your grandma. Do whatever you want. I'm just telling you what I recommend. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Carlos Sino. Don't forget to reach out to your sales representative or your customer service representative if you have any questions at all. Reach us on any of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.